So let's say, let's say this is, you do now, it should work. Okay. So then bro man, if I have this same setup at the bottom of the farm, they'll all go through and come out here in the nether. And then if I have this in the nether, they'll all go into it and come out up top, right? Yes, okay. That's what I needed to know. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Because then what's going to happen is, Entropy, they're going to fall to their death. So here's, here's what I'm going to do, Entropy. I'm going to do this. It's going to look like this. Okay? And then we're going to have this. Hold on. So there's going to be a cat right here. There's going to be a cat hanging out right here at the back of the portal. And the portal's going to be right here. And when the creeper comes through the portal, they're going to go, ah, a cat, and fall down the hole. But this is going to repeat, be repeated one, two, three, four times. Right, Entropy? And that should work? If I got a cat hanging out right here. They come through the portal, they see the cat. They go into the hole and they die. And I set that up in a one, two, three, four pattern. Officially whiz, you tell it to sit. So it'd be like that. Cat, 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 cat. Whiz. That, that, that's not the that's not the difficult part. Once you bring the cat on this one side, you just break the portal. Are they dropping in the nether or the overworld? They're dropping in the overworld. What's gonna happen, Entropy, is the farm is gonna be built. Here, here's how the farm's gonna look. It's gonna look like this. This is just rough. This isn't this isn't permanent or how it's actually gonna be. So we're going to have, it's going to look like this, okay? So there's the first module that creepers are going to come out of, okay? Uh, then we're going to have another module here. One second. Second module, third module, fourth module, okay? They're going to come down and fall here into water, go down to the portal, go to the nether, Go back into the portal, come out up top, and fall all the way down in between all of the spawners and die at the bottom. That way the farm can be self-contained in its own piece. I'll show you. That way the farm can just be one piece, all contained in one area. There's no drop, there's no storage, it's all there. And what we're going to do is the AFK is going to be in the center and all of the loot's going to water elevator back up and go into boxes. It's going to be compact. But it's, they're all going to spawn and die in the overworld. They're just going to go to the nether for a minute and come back out. Do you think that would work, Entropy? I think that would work. For it, I um I don't want to train any Endermen. Yes, we're gonna have we're gonna have thirty two levels because they're two tiles high, so we're gonna have th we're gonna have sixteen above, sixteen below, which will cover the sixty four square or the sixty four circle, and then we'll have the kill zone at the bottom. Black chi tea or chai tea? I've never had chai, so I would say black. <laughs> no dirty water for me, thanks. 
He wasn't asking you, D-Pick. <laughs> All right. Either way, we're gonna we're gonna get that a shot. I just want to make sure that it would work. It's gonna be it's gonna be epic. Only one portal in the Nether, right? Uh, no. I want a group of four, just like I drew. Is that gonna be an issue? Furret, did you have you seen my gold farm? I've already planned the death of thousands of of pigmen. I'm just building a custom creeper farm. This is something that I've never seen on the internet before. I'm gonna do something crazy. You have okay. Yeah, entropy. This is this is gonna be four in the Nether too. Because I can't put water in the nether to make them go one direction. I, I could only put one in the nether, I guess. I can put one in the nether and just have cats chase them into the next portal. Two portals on the nether side. I, I, I would, I would want all four in the same configuration like I showed before. If that works, bro, man, I'd rather have that. Number nine. I'm not copying one off the internet. I'm using part of a build of another one and making my own design. I'm making a custom farm. Otherwise, I just watch a tutorial. Bye, CZ Foo. Have a good night. What I'm doing is combining a lot of aspects of other ones to make my own. <clears throat> Sending to four corresponding portals in the Nether, which return to a single portal in the Overworld. It's gonna be it's gonna be four portals at the bottom of the farm. At, at Y minus 64. And it goes to the same X and Z equivalent in the nether at Y100 four portals. And then those four portals go to a corresponding X and Z on Y100 in the overworld. You're just trolling? Number nine, I don't know when you're trolling or not, buddy. You see bedrock? We're at bedrock. Just one portal at Y100 in the overworld. Four at minus 60. Four at 100 in the nether. One at 100 in the... Or even four at 100 in the, in the overworld. Didn't know you can get this crazy with portals? You can. Unfortunately, you can, MT. Which is how a lot of the mob farmers are made. There's some iron farms that abuse it MT. And what happens is when the iron golem goes into the nether, it's no longer seen by the villagers. So they make a, an iron golem faster, apparently. Don't think you need four portals in the nether. Just one for dumping them in the nether. And the next one for returning it to the overworld. But that's just it though. The portals in the overworld are gonna share the same exact Y and or X and Z entropy. Both portals in the overworld are gonna share the same X and Z. So I can't move them from one area in the nether to another area in the nether because then that moves them in the overworld. Does that make sense? Are those slime blocks? Yeah, we had some slime spawn, and I'm not sure where the slime chunk 100% is. So the slimes I did kill, I made blocks out of them, and I put them over there because we're going to investigate and see which one has is the blocks. Yeah, we're going to try it out, Entropy. I'll try it out. I'll let you know.
Because I think we should be okay. Does another still have the 8 to 1 block conversion? It does. <clears throat> but that's that's for the X and Z, it's not for the Y. There's going to be four in the nether total. There's going to be five. I mean, five or eight in the overworld total. I might put four at the top, too. D-Pink, enjoy your lurk, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. But the eight in the overworld are going to point to the same four in the nether. Snook, what we're doing is we're we're hoping if we put the nether portal at 100, if we enter at the same coordinate X and Z in the overworld, we'll be transported to 100. But if we go back in, it's going to check for 100 first in the overworld and put us up top. So we can enter at the bottom and we can come out at the top if we exit and re-enter again. That's what we're trying to accomplish right now. All right, Entropy. I'll be here, bud. To replace the water elevator. Yes. And to make it to where while the mobs are in the nether, they're not counting towards the mob cap in the overworld. To allow for more mobs to spawn. Thus trying to bunch them up even more. But yes, 100%. How wide is the four portal square going to be in the overworld? Uh, let me, one second. So each portal is going to take up one, two, three, four, five blocks. So... If you do this, Entropy, that's where the cat's going to sit. This is where the portal's going to be. Can they share the same leg? Entropy, can the, can the portals share the same leg? If they can share the same leg, we can make it smaller. They can? Okay. So then it would be... Hold. It would look like this then. It would look like this then. Um, so the portals are, they have a three wide opening. And the setup is the cats in the overworld or the nether? Uh, the cats are going to be back here. So they're going to chase them into a hole. So that's going to be at the top of the overworld. Um, as far as in the nether is going to be concerned... We'll probably just put a cat like right here and just close this up. That way when they come in, they're scared and they'll go to a different portal. You know what I mean? Maybe. I don't know how to do that 100% just yet, Entropy. I'm still figuring that part out. But it shouldn't be difficult. Whatever we, we, we conclude on. But this is going to be at the bottom and the top of the overworld. Because, because I can't use water in the nether or else I would water feed the creepers into the next portal. So I have to scare them with cats. Mm, snook, lava will kill the creepers. I don't want that to happen. <laughs> I 
Well, lava flows like water in the nether. So, I mean, it's not too slow. But it'll also kill them. Why is the nether necessary? Well, the nether is not necessary. But the other option is to build a bunch of water elevators to move the creepers to the top of the world. And the issue with that is, while the water elevators are moving creepers, Hafnium, the game checks and sees those mobs there and won't spawn other mobs on the platforms. So I have to wait for those mobs to cycle up, come down and die before more spawn. But if they go down and disappear, it'll spawn more. And they'll go down and disappear. Then they'll reappear up top and come die. I want them up top. Because it... I want to make, I want to make the farm as close to the bottom as possible. Which means I want to kill them at the same time, but we're going to kill them in the middle of where they're spawning. It's going to be compact. They're gonna, there's going to be creepers falling through the tube and on the sides, but they're going to be being fed into two different places. Camaro Shell, how are you today? How are things? Treat them like me seeks, yeah. I'm Mr. Me seeks, look at me. I'm Mr. Me seeks, look at me. Yeah, we, we all missed Hafnium. I'm glad she's back. She's been she's been regaling me with all of her stories the past couple of days. She could she could write a book just from the last week alone. <laughs> she could call it Hafnium. 218 in the series of unfortunate events. <laughs> Chapter 1. I left my state. <laughs> How you doing, Slothulu? Long time no see, buddy. $238? Wow. That sounds like they got robbed with the way used car prices are right now. <laughs> no half diem. No. I'm deleting that message. You don't say that shit about yourself. You're not allowed to do that. How you doing, Sothulu? Welcome in, buddy. It's been a while. I hope you're well. You're not allowed to do that, half diem. All right, Entropy. I'll try that. I'll try that. Slothulu, I'm doing all right, bud. I'm doing all right. Would I need two cats, though? One to get them up the first flight and one to get them up the second flight? I can make it like 102, though, right? Entropy or something? 103? It could be a little higher because it's still going to check for 100. <laughs> Camaro shell. All right.
What ended up happening to that car? Was was it the transmission? You don't think they ever found out? <clears throat> Yeah, buying it for $238 is a steal. Hi, Apollo. We're at Bedrock, my friends. We are at Bedrock. How are you today? Yabba dabba do. No, no, we're not the Flintstones. Not that Bedrock. You're okay? Cool. How's the burb? Is she in a better mood? I know entropy, but what I'm saying though is if the nether port, if the return portal in the north nether is 105, that should still go to the 100 in the overworld, right? As long as the return portal is higher than the, than the other overworld portal. It's a big hole. We're putting a creeper farm in here. I'm building a custom one. Oh, okay, Apollo. Does the Y work like that with portals? Uh, e e e technically, yes, Camaro Shell. So if I built a portal at minus 64 in the overworld, and at the same X and Z, I put a portal at 100 in the nether. When I jump into it from here, I'll go to 100 in the nether. But if I go back into it, if I have a portal at the same X and Z, but at Y100 in the overworld, I'll go to that portal up there when I come back through. So we're going to do that, but for monsters. You can probably just do two opposing portals with two cats. They'll just run into the opposite one and come out at 100 in the overworld. You overcomplicated it at first. Would they run across or would they get scared by the other cat and then stay in the middle? I'm sorry, officially, Wiz. I was just trying to enunciate what I was explaining. Don't look directly into the mouse cursor. I'm still playing, Clem. I, I stream for a while, buddy. I try to do at least four hours when I go live. I haven't been streaming like a long, long time here recently, but I've been doing about six to seven hours. Found a way to the end, but I was trying to use a portal to get there, and the Y was all over the place. <clears throat> what do you mean, Camaro Shell? Were you building the portal in the nether first and not building one in the overworld? What you got to do when it comes to that is you got to build a portal at the end portal in the overworld first. Go through, then break that portal in the nether and build it where you want to at the corresponding X and Z. You can't, you can't start in the nether and then come out in the overworld. The whys don't work out very well. <clears throat> Any advice? Don't die. <laughs> For it. My advice to you is you're going to die. 
learn from how you died and don't do it again in your next run. That's my advice. So if you die to a creeper, don't die to a creeper in your next run. If you die because you jumped off of a cliff and it was too tall, don't do that in your next run. If you die because you fell in lava and you weren't wearing shoes, don't do that in your next run. Take all those little bits and pieces and learn from them. Don't just keep dying the same way over and over again because that means you're not putting in effort. Yeah, Camaro Shell. The, the Y is going to be random if you start in the nether. But if you start in the overworld, you can control the Y. Probably make it work with just a single block difference in height. I Entropy. But I can't get the creeper to hop up a block like that. I have to run them around. Which is why I'm trying to figure out if I go 10 blocks taller, if I can still get it to work. You can't just make them hop up one block and go to a different portal. For it, more power to you, buddy. So if I run them upstairs with a cat, I have to have another cat to run them back up the other side of the stairs. Would they hop up a slab? They sure could, Checker, but I, I have to... I, I They can't go to a different X and Z as an end result. They got to go back to the same X and Z. So they have to go up and then they have to come back. Hi, Viscous. How are you, buddy? How are things? I'll figure it out. This is, this is, I'm just asking about portals in the beginning. Viscous, how are you and the misses? <clears throat> for some reason, when he sees lava, it's like he runs for it and jumps in every time. <laughs> One of these days is going to be a Chacuzzi Camaro shell and he's going to be happy about it. He's going to be like, see babe, it's not so bad. Then <laughs> he gets mad and stops playing. I wonder if full fire protection armor would make you survive in the lava for longer. You may just have to build him full fire protection, Camaro Shell. Wiz, if you play in a realm, a realm is a server. It's just hosted by Mojang. You still pay monthly for it. It's like $10 a month. Yeah, she, she typed the word realm. Uh, for it, there is no money. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. It, it would have to be like a daily deposit of hundreds of dollars. 